This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Text color. You can change the color of your text by using the fill block. Let's hit run. Oh, pretty. Do this. Read the code to see how it works. Add a new block to make the word sky a different color. Add more text with even more colors. All right. So we've used fill before, right? For shapes and things of this manner. And it's used the same way with text. Let's go over to drawing. Remember, you must say the color before you ask the computer to draw or write something. Think of it as a marker or paint. For instance, on line five, I tell the computer, hey, I want you to pick up some a red marker. Then I want you to write the word rainbows. What would happen if I said, hey, I want you to write the word rainbows, then I want you to pick up the red marker? Well, it turns into gray because we tell it to pick up this marker or this red color after it's already written rainbows. And then it changes to orange, so nothing ever becomes red. All right, so if I want to change just sky, let's look for fill. And I want it directly above sky. So they use orange and red. I'm going to use blue. Rainbows in the sky. And they want us to add some text. So cool. I'm going to drop something here. And R. I don't know. Uh, and maybe we want it near this, right? Because now it's in the corner. So near that would be, I don't, I'm going to add, it looks like they're adding 40 each time. So 150. And then they're adding 50, 100. So they're adding 100. R. Keep this one green. And then, cool. I am not known for my creativity. All right, uh, 190 and then 250. Boom. Let's change the color of that one too, though. Uh, to purple. Not, not purple. Boom. Awesome. So just make sure you have fill above what you want to change. It's how text size works too, by the way. Text size is way up here, so all of them are 50. But if I put it down here, if I put text size below the text, nothing would be 50 because you have to tell it what size before it draws it. Onward!